Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a bacon wrapped pork and beef meatloaf. Uh, I'm going to cook mine on a smoker, which there'll be a link on how to set up your smoker up in one of the corners. Um, but if you haven't got a smoker or you don't want to do any barbecue, you can just cook it in your oven and it will be just as nice. So to make your meatloaf filling, I'll leave a list of all the ingredients down below for you to look at. I've got a slice of bread in there. I'm gonna put just enough milk to barely cover it. Just like that, you can see. What that's gonna do is that's gonna add moisture to the end dish. Then what I'm gonna do, this is for four people. I've got 300 grams of pork mince, that's going in. 300 grams of beef mince, that's going in. Then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of onion granules, a teaspoon of garlic granules, a teaspoon of paprika, smoked preferably, and a touch of nutmeg. Get all that in, fire in a load of salt and pepper, and that's that bit done for the minute. I've just left it over on the side while we do the next bit. So while your ready meaty mix is, I want to rest in the corner. Get yourself a sheet of cling film. And then get a rash of bacon that way. So we've got our bit of bacon going across there and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits of bacon going that way. What we're going to do is get every other bit and just pull it back a little bit, like so, and get another rasher and lay it across, roll them forward, and then get the ones that are underneath, pull them back. Another bit, lay that across, and then we just keep repeating this process until we've got a nice lattice of bacon. So you should end up with a nice square lattice like this. Now what we're going to do is mash up all our minced meat and uh, the other ingredients, make a sausage along here and then roll it up. So our mix has just been sat on the side while we've been doing our bacon. I'm now going to add in a tablespoon of French's mustard. You can use any mustard you fancy or just don't if you don't want to, or you can put in barbecue sauce if you want. Um, and then our bread at the bottom and now will be all soggy, so now just get your hands in there and give it all a good mix together. Make sure you smash the bread up into little pieces. You don't want to be chewing on a bit of bread halfway through. end up with something that just looks like burger mix really. Next up is we're going to take our mix that we've just made and we're just going to fill it along the centre of the bacon. Just get it the best 
shape and size you can possible, so like that. Then what we're going to do is you grab your cling film, you can come this way or that way, it doesn't really matter. And pull that around, like that. And then hope that this reaches the other side, like so. If you keep that bit of clean film there, roll that one over, and then get your sausage and roll it like this. So making sure that you keep hold of the ends, that will make it into a nice perfect sausage shape. If you find you're getting a big air bubble, get oh, I've got a little pair of scissors will do. Stab a hole in, squeeze all the air out, or a skewer or something. And just keep going for a minute. Job done. That's what you should end up with. So our meatloaf's been in the fridge for maybe half an hour now. So it's just firmed up a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to handle. I'm just going to fire a probe into one end of it, like so, so I can keep an eye on the temperature. And we'll take this up to 75 degrees. So we'll just pop it on the smoker. We've got a little bit of uh, oak in there that you can see to go along with this. So that's in. We can pop the lid on. We're going to hopefully run this at around about 100, 110 degrees Celsius. I've got my trusty Thermapro keeping an eye on the temperatures for me and I can take the other bit in the house with me. So here we are, the end result looks all right. I didn't quite get uh, the bacon to wrap all the way around, but I knew that was gonna happen. And I did have to finish it in the oven because I just couldn't keep my barbecue up to temperature for some reason and everyone kept asking me how long dinner was gonna be. So I'm just gonna give it a slice now and see what it's like inside. There you go, look, that looks absolutely banging inside. Another few slices off of it. And then my cameraman's just going to go over it nice and slowly for you. Look at that, that is all nice and juicy in there. Yum, yum, yum.